Hi guys, we're here at the London Classic Car Show, which is being held at London Olympia. I'm gonna take you for a walk around the show in case you uh, did not have the chance to attend and see what it's all about. And if you like it, you can attend next year. See you around. So we'll start by taking a walk around the ground floor, the main hall. And here we're looking at a feature which all Porsche lovers will love, of course. This is basically a story of the evolution of the Porsche 911. Featuring the 901. I love that. I love that sort of, I love that older style, 1960s, 1970s Porsches. I think a lot of the new ones have just got a bit too big, a bit too long. That's just my own personal opinion, of course. So I'm not sure about uh, a 911 being in red. I do like them in silver. That's a cool car. Yeah, I love that. 993 in silver. Moving on to the 996. Now, if you're not a Porsche connoisseur, it's certainly interesting to look at the differences in cars. And the difference in shapes. These are both GT3s. Not sure, I mean, like anything, there's not gonna really be a massive difference. I think I prefer, on this 997, you've got the exhaust in the, in the center. And on the 996, you've got the one either side. I'm being checked out by security. <laughs> That's quite nice, 991. It's not for me. I think I'd have to go for the 993 myself if it was a new shape or the 997. Antiques, wine for sale. What's not to love about the Lamborghini Mura? Wow, love that color as well. And that's cool, look, Fiat 500, our bar fan. Now, these cars will be for sale. So this is a Porsche 993 Turbo. Now, why don't you guess the price before I tell you? See what your knowledge is like on car prices. I'm no expert in Porsches, but I think that's going to be 70 or 80 grand. No price listed. I suppose if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Loads of cars here for sale. A lot of people, unfortunately, which means we can't get loads of good looks at the cars. Stick <laughs> 
Get out of the crowd. It's interesting that most of the people here look like they're in their 60s or 70s. And maybe that says a lot about the show. Some cool minis. It's got an Indian flavour to it, so I don't know what the history is, I'm sure it will tell us. Love the artwork on it though. We'll come back to that later. Here's a car that we saw at uh, Petrol Hedonism last year, won loads of awards. Here's the Ferrari Owners Club. Most people looking at the F40 for obvious reasons. a load of Corvettes if that's your thing I've got to say I do like the modern Corvettes the C8 and their design styling that's coming through is uh, certainly uh, giving other supercars a, a challenge and the cost price and is uh, very competitive right So a lot of this shows is just about showing off cars, selling cars. A lot of companies are restoring cars and selling their services in terms of what they do. I like that. That's an electric Defender. Now, I've got a, a Land Rover Defender 110. And if and when the diesel engine finally gives up, which is probably a long way away, it's only done 80,000 miles, I consider potentially doing electric, potentially, if the electric price point for conversions has come down. I think at the moment you're talking 30 to 50 grand, which is a lot. I'm not sure how long the battery would last either, so. For me, that's probably a pipe dream, not really a reality. Out 
alpines. Cars by total head turners. Always looking at these cars. I don't care if it's a replica or not. I have two replicas myself. It doesn't matter. A car is a car. If you like it and you love it and it makes you feel good, that's all you need. But look, there's a Bugatti Veyron replica. For sale, 240,000 pounds. That's ridiculous. Now that is ridiculous for a replica. The event organisers are definitely raking in the money. There's a lot of people here. Too many for my liking personally, but they're making money, eh? That's what they've got to do, eh? I like the colour of this car over here. It's sort of baby blue. Very rare you see a car that colour. It's cool. I like it. Okay, so into hall two. More Corvettes. In yellow, I think it just looks cool. It's a C7. What do you reckon? Do you love it? I think that is a very good looking car. Not as much as these two, in my opinion. I love these old Corvettes. Just look at the internal of that. Beautiful. Actually, he has a beautiful 57 Corvette. Look at it, bro. Love the Stingray. So cool. So in here will be the auctions cars by historic auctions. I've actually bought two cars from them, so I probably should uh, steer clear. Ferraris. Four, five, eight Speciali, like James May has. I've driven this. Not this particular car, but Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Love that colour, that's a beautiful colour. Now that's interesting. I wonder how much this car will go for. Some of you will know I actually own one of these, but in uh, Rosso Scudera. Certainly a car that makes you feel alive and puts a massive smile on your face.
do love the rear of the uh, 599, that's a GTO. So again, it'd be very interesting to see what price that goes for. They've, I've seen them on sale for half a mil. Just coming out. Pounds, of course. Go and look at the uh, auction cars in a minute. This is cool. I love the old Jag 120s. Beautiful. I also love the Fiat 500. I've owned two new ones. I'd probably get an old one at some point. Look at this nutter. Now that's not spec. Standard spec. That's someone who's got too much time on their hands. In my opinion, doesn't have respect for history. It's a rare right-hand drive. It's probably the exact type of car that I would get. Beautiful. Honda NSXs. I've driven one of these. I didn't particularly like it, if I'm honest. No power steering. It's a handful, and not much fun. Lancia. Again, I'm a fan of Lancia. I was like, own one at the moment, but I am thinking of putting my Lancia up for sale. So really, that's the show in, in its entirety. I'm just going to quickly go through and, and look at the uh, the uh, historics cars for sale but uh, let's have a, a quick look it's a nice one let's just have a quick look down here I love that now that's going to be a replica but again <laughs> if he's putting a smile on your face then you know I personally have a lot of time for it. Now I wonder how these will sell. We're a cost of living crisis at the moment. I feel a lot of cars are heavily overweight on pricing. That is a car that I love. Now, of course, if you don't know, which I'm sure you do, this is a Mercedes-Benz 190 SL. 
it's not in a concourse condition, it's in a used condition, but it's still in good nick. Now these are 100 grand now, even left hand drives, 100 grand, 120, 130. I'll be doing a uh, car in the spotlight of a silver one of these, which one of my friends owns. So look out for that on the website soon. How have I just walked past the Land Rover Defender? That's cool, and it's in lovely condition. That's, I think that's been reconditioned to an inch of its life and probably better than it was when it came out of the shop new. It's very cool. God, a Ford Cortina. My mum had an estate of those. Horrific. But that's the thing about classic cars, each to their own. Everyone's got a reason for buying what they buy. Not a fan of Rolls Royces. Not the new ones anyway. God, my dad had one of these in that exact same color, Rover. They were police cars at one point, weren't they? I'm sure they didn't catch anybody. I suppose it's all relative. There's a Brabus G Wagon. Not my style, really. I wonder how much that will go for. That wasn't me. There's nothing that's caught my eye and I thought I must have. But I've pretty much bought a car every year for the last three years, so I'm a bit car purchased out. I do like this though. Now again, this is a replica. Cool. I like these alphas as well, these are quite cool. Never going to buy one, I don't think. On the other hand, I do like a Jaguar type. But again, we just the cost of them now are over a hundred thousand, hundred and fifty thousand for Series One. I'm just not convinced I'll ever buy a Jaguar type. So look, that's our quick walk around. I know it wasn't overly quick, 20, 25 minutes, but. That was our walk around the London Classic Car Show at London Olympia. I hope you enjoyed it. Do uh, subscribe, like, share with friends. And if you ever see us at a car show, do come and talk to us. We love talking about cars, as you know. See you around. Take care for now.